Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. As you can see, this is Corsair H100X radiator cooling for gaming PCs and PCs. So today we're going to open up the box and check what is in there, how it looks and highlighted specification about this product and after installed, we're going to see the look of it. So let's open the box. First of all, as you can see, once we open the box, there is the safety and warranty guide. And also it does comes with the quick startup guide with all the illustration and everything. It does have part of RGB, but the actual fan comes without RGB. Now, if you open the box, we can see a lot of stuff uh, wrapped in the plastic bags, which to be honest, I don't like it. They shouldn't put that many plastics, but anyway, let's open up and check. So that's the main radiator. 240 mm high density radiator and it comes in black color and even the wire I mean the cable which one runs from the pump to the radiator and from radiator to the pump is quite decent this is kind of fully breeded as I can see and also the actual pump comes with pre-installed thermal pad okay but I would suggest you don't touch it and also, if you want to install it into your old PC or old CPU, make sure if you're planning to install this radiator cooling into your old CPU and old PC, be careful, make sure you give it a proper clean to your CPU. Otherwise, the dust would make problem. And by the way, these are the fan. Those fans doesn't have any RGB effect on it. And both of the fan comes in 120 mm. And the fan speed runs from 600 rpm to 1700 rpm and it doesn't make that much noise anyway <clears throat> and also it does have the different cable connector for the rgb header as you can see there are converter four pin and then right here the four pin as well for fan and also it does have the SATA power connector for the actual RGB. And here is the one, the bracket. And this is perfect for your either the Intel CPU or AMD CPU, both of them. You can do that. And the most impressive part that I like all the screws, quite solid and strong build. As I can see, that's all in the box. Now, if you open up the radiator, we can see there are the space for two fans and everything is included right here all the brackets and everything now if you do have any question like what sort of processor it does support or the motherboard i would say it does support for intel lga 1151 1150 and 1155 almost three latest one and also it does support for ryzen processor any generation does not matter so now we're going to install it and we're going to see how it comes up let's talk about the common mistake that you do when you install the fan into the radiator make sure you put it in the right side as you can see this is the common mistake that we done okay it shouldn't be in that way so it has to be in other way as you can see there are two tubes behind it behind the radiator not in this side the other side so if you put the fan in that way then you can't put this radiator into the ATX case because if you want to put the screw in that's not going to be happen because the two tubes all right so let's do it in the correct way today we're going to install this radiator cooling on my Intel motherboard and the socket is LGA 200 be careful when you pull out if you're CPU is old and if it does have any existing CPU cooling fan then please carefully take this out I would suggest you run this machine for a couple of minutes let's say 5 or 10 minutes so that any paste which is applied in there it would be softer and easily you can remove like that way but I installed that one yesterday so I'm not going to clean the CPU but if your one is older then you must have to clean it and you can use 99.99% rubbing alcohol to clean it don't use any other liquid to do that 
and when you clean be careful don't damage it physically now as you can see the bracket this bracket comes in different size so make sure you check your motherboard for screw holes for the cpu adjust it and then place this in to install the radiator pump if your one is intel board then you need all this screw to hang the bracket on as you can see so all of them we need so make sure you keep this one and double check if all of them comes in four of each the actual pump comes with the plastic cover so until you finish the fan installation please don't remove it because if you do remove then the thermal paste would be damaged it would be all over the place so leave it like that and now we're going to install the fan in right way and this is the right side the way we started was absolutely wrong we're going to install in that way and the cable has to be face down and the Corsair logo has to be face up that's the way almost any brand so let's do that So this is the time to a little bit of thermal paste because from my experience I found to be honest the actual pre-installed thermal paste is not enough. After 6 or 8 months later I found many one of them dried out so I added some on the center point so it would be spread out. Now we're gonna add the pump. There are two cables one of them goes to the CPU fan connector and another one goes to the RGB power now we're gonna add the four screws on the head make sure all of them secure correctly and I found the best way to do that do a cross and don't do one after another when you do first one then exit the second then the third one this is the best way